This episode is brought to you by Mac Weldon. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com and enter promo code CADCAST at checkout. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 595. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who is the original surprise mechanic, Wombat. Surprise! No, surprise, I don't know how to fix your car. I, your car is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a surprise, though. Shouldn't be a surprise. No, not not if I'm under the hood. I, could, I couldn't even plug my own tire. I had to get help from next door. Well, yeah. I wouldn't expect you to be able yeah. to do that yourself. I would. I had never done it before, but I'm lucky that my next door neighbor is a mechanic. So it helps. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Chip acting how to plug your own tire? Response. I've done it before, yeah. See? Some people know how to do I that. I know how to do it. You drive to the auto repair shop on the corner. He charges <laughs> you 20 bucks, and then you leave. Yeah. <coughs> mm-hmm. Worked. Now I know Now I know how to do it. Like if I was in a pinch, having seen it done. Right. But hmm. I'm pretty sure you could go into YouTube and learn how to do this as well. Yeah, but it's nice to see someone do it. It's always better. It- Whatever. Sure, why not? No. This all sounds plausible. You don't have to it? subscribe to him. Exactly. He didn't say like and subscribe below, because that would be inappropriate. Mm. I like my surprise mechanic joke. I'm standing by it. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. It was uh, appropriate. Timely. Mm-hmm. Very much so. So welcome to the show. It's summer. This is the big summer show. Oh. Is this, this is the big summer show? Know. Ty's going. I'm to- glad I'm wearing this shorts. This is it. Last show until September. No. <laughs> Are we doing quarterly now? Is that how we're doing it? I don't know. We don't have any sponsors the next couple of weeks. I think, you know. We're going really? quarterly. <laughs> wow. Well, oh. that's out. Oh. See you in August. So. I'm here for one reason and one reason only. The sponsors. <laughs> we have to do at least enough shows so that the, the uh, LI Retro show is number 600. I know. I was doing the math before. Oh, and the math? If if we do do a show every week, do do, uh, I think the Li Retro show would actually be six oh one, so we may not want to do a show the week before. I definitely don't but want. We could figure it out. It. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that would be fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I was, as I was telling Chip earlier, then we sort of like get out of having to do anything. You know, mm-hmm. like special. Everybody wins. Well, mm-hmm. <laughs> Except everybody. Because that would be the special show, and people right. will come and, and be excited right. and be like, oh, 600. What can we do to make it special at the LA Retro show? Uh, take out our wangs. <laughs> and get arrested. No, we wouldn't get arrested. We'd get applauded. Mm. You're friends with the police. <laughs> I got pulled over today. I know, but what happened? I uh, I was coming back from ping pong, where I just uh, played against several young ladies, and got beaten at once. No, one after another, they they played against me and destroyed me because they're all top top level players. So it was just ridiculous. Like I literally, they I cycled through all of them, and it was just one loss after another. Um, so feeling great from that. You know, <laughs> those conquests. I was driving home and there's a place where I live where it's it's like a steep downhill area and the speed limit is only 25 miles an hour. So 20, I don't know if you know this or not, but 25 miles an hour is like pretty slow. And when you're going downhill, it's difficult to go that slow. You really have to make an effort. It's not, not difficult. Especially, especially in the rocket you have. Like going downhill, it's going downhill. Anyway. So I I see like I see too late. There's a cop standing on the side of the road. There's no cop car. He's just standing there and he's got like some sort of like speed radar binoculars 
like mini they like look like opera glasses or something but there's like a radar built in there or something so he signals me for to pull over and he comes over and he asks for my my shit and I and I give him my shit and he sees my address and he's like oh do you live you live at the bottom of the hill there in that in that like box house and I was like yeah yeah and I was like yeah he's like oh I met the uh you know the the guy who used to live there and of course I knew the guy's name I knew you know, I literally wrote the Wikipedia page about about the guy. So I was like, oh, yeah, you know, Mr. So-and-so. And he lived to be there until, he, you know, until he lived there until he was 98 years old. And I started, you know, schmoozing the guy. And I, I got out of the ticket. He was just like, he, wow. was just like, he was just like, all right, you know, only 25 miles an He hour. was like, here's a guy who could afford this pay, to pay this ticket. I'm not going to give him I one. Think it was more, <laughs> I think it was more like... I'm the local police guy, and this guy lives just moved into. He asked me like when we moved in, and I told him, you know, it's just only a couple of years ago. And has it only been, been a couple three, of years? Three years? A few really? years. That's I it? guess a couple is not accurate. A few. Is... No, I'm just saying. I feel to me, I thought it was like six. So, <laughs> so I think you know the guy. I wasn't like I was going like 35. I wasn't. It wasn't like I was fucking jamming down the hill. There were like plenty of cars in front of me, like. So you're going 75 and a 25. He could have pulled over anybody, I'm sure, but he chose to, he just, I was an easy target to pull over. And I mean, he, I was just somebody to pull over. He could have pulled over anybody. And I wasn't a dick when he pulled me over. I didn't say like, oh, why'd you pull me over? I just was very polite. Part of it's probably also, he's probably not trying to catch the people that live in the neighborhood. Right, right. And, you know, I, he could see that I wasn't an, a complete asshole. So he was like, all right, just be careful around here. It's only 25. That's true. Would you be able to go to, I am trying to think what courthouse you would go to for that. I, I didn't get a ticket, so I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just thinking. It doesn't I'm matter. Saying, Who like, gives a shit? Because if you're local and it's the local courthouse, <sighs> right. there's a better chance of you going to fight okay. it and it's not worth well, we it. We don't to have to worry about that. Um, I was agreeing with Shipwreck is where I was going with that. Yeah, of course. No, I, I agree. But I'm sure if I said to, if I was like an asshole, well, who knows what he would have done. Anyway, it was a good lesson for Ty, who was in the back seat. That also probably helped me get out of the ticket that Ty was in the back seat. Um, but it was a good lesson to Ty to be polite whenever you can, and good things will happen. Speed away. So it's, I like I said, it was like a downhill. It was like a speed trap. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing you weren't shoplifting Barbies from the dollar store. It's a good thing. Uh, this is my white privilege right there. Yeah, a my little white bit. privilege is that uh, I didn't get it's, shot it's for showing. doing for going downhill. Your white privilege is showing. Oh my god, I was watching. I don't know why I watched. I watched YouTube, the YouTube videos that YouTube recommends to me. I don't know why I do it, but once in a while, I'll 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 I'll, I'll click on one that services. And there was one with a recent one from with Jeremy Piven, called you know, Jeremy Piven is blackballed from Hollywood. You know, and you know Jeremy Piven, right, from Entourage. Yeah. And I was like, I want to see what Jeremy mm-hmm. Piven's up to now, because I remember like he he got me too, right, or something. Did he? I believe I, you. I think, I'm not sure. I only because I only I only made it two minutes into the video because he was saying how he said it was the, literally he said, "Look, I'm a I'm a Jewish guy. I'm a Jewish guy. Um, st- I was a stage actor, a struggling stage actor, no money. There's no white privilege." And I was like two minutes into the video, and that's what that's about as far as I made it. And I had to I had to give up on hearing about what Jeremy Piven was up to. And on January twenty seventh, two thousand and eighteen, three women accused Jeremy Piven of sexual misconduct. And that was only last year. I thought there's something happened way before that. I feel like I feel like he's been, hasn't been anything for far more than a year. I'm just that's the one that comes up Google. first. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Google the Google algorithm, uh, the uh, the YouTube algorithm, got me. Hmm. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I got a I got a CAD cat update because Ty got his report card. Okay. He got straight A's and so you, you he got all cat? A's and one A plus. Ugh, well, you said all A's. So you're out. <laughs> you're good. You're you're good. <laughs> Woo! So don't don't over it. Don't overdo it. Now you're just showing off. No right, cat. Right. So I don't know what's happening now. I still told him he really should have got this all in writing. <laughs> <That's>, yes. <laughs> but he's he's laying it on. <coughs> so we'll see what happens. The update is he's asking for a cat a lot now. <laughs> Five hundred times today. 
Shipwreck just got a new cat. I did. Maybe he has an extra one. Right. I I could probably bring you a cat. No, I know where to get cats from. Okay. There's plenty of cats to be had. Cat cats are easy to find. Spain. <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna import my cat from less than a mile away. What kind of an asshole would do something <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah. How's that going? Uh, I heard you had a, a little accident earlier. You know, because we're doing the show, we threw her off her schedule, so it's really our <laughs> threw fault. Threw off the roof for not. Yeah, because she did. As soon as she she went into the bedroom, and she's used to going outside right before going to sure. bed. But I think Laura was going to be like, "Oh, we'll go to bed for a little bit, then I'll take you out at your normal time." But she got confused and then peed on the bed. So what can you do? Who doesn't make that mistake now and again? Well, you know, it's. It's been three weeks. We're still getting the routine down. We do have a uh, dog walker now, though, which we never had before, hmm. who comes to the house in the afternoons. Hmm. So there's that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Do your kids not come to the house in the afternoons? Uh, they have camp now. Okay. Gotcha. So they're not home until Laura gets home. And that's like five, five. Yeah, five. That's, that's, that's a long ass camp. I must have gone to a camp like that, too, I guess. They well they they have like an after camp program for that's where all the kids cool kids parents go. work yeah exactly <laughs> and we work so that's like where the real camp is <coughs> the after camp mm-hmm. yep only the lame people yep. go to the real camp that's yeah. the one where they just put a movie on right <laughs> uh, actually like, they get to play outside oh, yeah that's it's nice. one of those two things it's either. Okay, all the rest of the kids left. We're putting a movie on for for the stragglers, right. or we're just going to fence them in outside somewhere. But yeah, both. But the, you know, you're you're not wrong. With today's modern technologies, you can do both at the same time. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, I went to a Yankee game over the weekend. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I saw you were living fun. the sweet life there. Yeah, we got. I got. I had never. And you've done this before, though. You've seen a game in a suite at the, like a Mets game, haven't you? Um, at a Mets game, possibly. I feel. I feel like you have. Shipwreck. Have you ever seen a game in a suite at a, at a, a Newark game in at a Newark suites? Bears game? I have Ma- many, many games in a suite. Yes. Yeah, I had my first. That was my first suite experience. Okay, it only cost it's fifty dollars cool. to get. The well, suite. you 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 had the Activision E three concert suite experience. That is true. That was the best experience. But this was a base. This was a Yankee game, and it did have uh, the suites have their own bathrooms, which is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I I like that. Also, it was catered for breakfast and for lunch. Nice. Yeah. So I ate a lot of food and I watched a lot of baseball. And my son is now a super fan of the Yankees. Like overnight, he went to the one game. He watched it from we. It was Old Timers Day, so he watched the, all three innings of the Old Timers game. Then watched all three innings of the Yankee game. Uh, then we came home, and then the next day he watched the Yankee game on TV. And now it's like all he wants to do is watch the Yankees. Great. Ah. I think it had an impact on him, is what I'm saying. Right. So, Shipwreck, you and my son have something to talk about. Baseball. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all I got. I didn't get the report cards yet, back yet, so I don't know if we're getting a cat. Tell them to like the team that's closer to your house. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's... Uh, I don't know. But do you want to set them up to be a Mets fan or like for a, t- a team that can actually win something? It's it is and you're you're not the Mets wrong because it is kind of uh, they a, did they won sure the Reds won something too but it <laughs> look the owner of the Mets got swindled by Bernie Madoff he lost like half of his fucking money so you know he doesn't got the same same resources to put together that winning team anymore that's really sad that's what happened he sold he had to sell bits I of the team you. Bill Maher owns part of the Mets now. <laughs> You. Yeah, Seinfeld does too, <laughs> probably, I'm assuming, because he probably owns most of the Mets. He's going to a Mets game in like a couple of weeks. I think he's going to a Mets yes. game. So we'll see what he likes better. But this won't be a suite. This is going to be Shit. camp camp trip seats. He'll probably upgrade. So, uh huh. It's probably nobody going. So I'm not going to that game. I'm saying. Nobody so. else is either. They're losing. Yeah, I know. You think the tickets would be cheaper because I looked it oh, up. Oh, really? Later yeah, in later still... in the season they'll be cheaper. 
Yeah, I'll what's wait. The, I'll wait it out. We'll see how he likes the, the, the game that he goes to with the camp trip. Once it's clear they're going nowhere, then you can get the seeds for nothing. And eat deep fried Oreos mm-hmm. at a discount. Well, the Oreos can't cost the same, but the seeds are cheaper. Yeah, they don't. They don't discount no. those. You can still get that eighteen dollars steak sandwich for full price. Yeah, I'll pass. All right, what else? What are we up? Show feedback? Is that where we are? Uh, I think so. Uh, how do you say that? <laughs> Good luck, uh, Mr. Martinez. Caught, <laughs> caught, Mr. Martinez. Caught, caught him, caught him Martinez. Has to say, want to let you know I enjoyed very much the conversations you had every day and posted at the end of the last episode. A little bit rushed, sure, and Thor sounded like he didn't want to be there. But I understand that old. But I understand that old man like you and I need to sleep. So, a good congratulations on a successful post <laughs> three. I guess yeah. Thor wanted to be there. That's just that's just how he talks. That's just how Thor talks. That's. that's- that's that's Thor. You're right. And you are correct that uh, old men do need sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeff Frank would sleep before and after we were, would record sometimes. Yeah. I mean, what what else were we supposed to be doing during that time? <laughs> that's the downtime. Right. Oh, if I, if I had downtime without family and dogs around, I too would be asleep. Right. It's like no, nothing's hitting me in the nuts right now. <laughs> why, why am I not sleeping? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been up since four o'clock this morning. I relate. <sighs> it's like the it's like the it's like a reset button when you're trying to sleep. Exactly. Like, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Wake up! Oh Jesus Christ! I I almost knocked our uh, our um son <laughs> no our our clothes dryer like our drying machine. What is that thing called? It's a, a dryer. A dryer. Washing machine. I, no, not the washing machine. The one that dries the, the machine. Dryer. The, the one that the, the one that dries the clothes. It's called a dryer. Right. I almost knocked that over tonight because Emmeline came running up and just like full on punched me um in the nuts, like on accident, but then like I like backed into our our dryer and like knocked it like at a forty five degree angle. Right. Is it a wheelie? Right. <laughs> awesome. Mm-hmm. Emmeline, don't kick daddy in the groin. In the baby maker. The groin region. Or any region, really, is a pretty, pretty mm. good lesson. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'd rather get kicked in the knee than in the groin. No, but you don't want to get kicked anywhere. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, but if give it a choice. Voices, kick somebody else. Kick, uh, you know, kick your brother. Mm. That's what he's there for. Absorb the blows. All right, more show feedback? Sure, Doc Samson has to say, regarding E3, Cheapy left ship by himself. One, regarding E3, (laughs) Cheapy left ship by himself to go home early. Two, Men in Black's rank. Not gonna Men let, in Black's rank. address one. these one at a time. I was envisioning that we would address these one at a time because he said gave us a list. I was going through I, the list. I don't know if I enjoy the answering the questions more or hearing you try to read the questions more. I think it's, it's people enjoy my butchering of it's reading. Pretty good. Both are both pretty entertaining. Mm-hmm. Two Men in Black's ranked MIB one three two international and three. Aquaman was super fun and the opposite of a movie you should watch on a freaking airplane mini screen with crap headphones. Uh, my, my headphones were fine. I use the same crap headphones that I use every day. Hmm. I I had the I watched it on my uh, iPad with my Lucid Sound. So it wasn't. Those are good headphones. Yeah, it, the so. sound it sounded fine to me, and the, the yeah, screen was good. It was just the things that they were saying was the problem. Right. And it wasn't a problem. It was really, that's what I'm looking for on an airplane. I'm looking for mm-hmm. just like sort of mindless action, something I can like make fun of snarkily to myself. Vulgo, when can I meet my mother? I've been training for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it was, it's a, I disagree. It's, I believe it's the perfect airplane movie. It's really, mm-hmm. look, if you like, uh, you know, look, not every superhero. I'm Willem Dafoe. I have mortgage payments. <laughs> Spin. <laughs> hey, it was good to see him. I fell asleep apparently during the time, like when his characters were introduced, and so then all of a sudden Willem Dafoe just like showed up in this movie out of nowhere for me. Uh, but but wouldn't you like it if that happened in every movie? Right, it's just like three quarters of the way through the film, Willem Dafoe shows up. Surprise, Willem Dafoe. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I was sort of paying attention, and I feel like he just sort of showed up too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think he really missed anything. But I was happy to see him there, and I'm glad that he's uh, in a big budget movie like this. And I mean, hey, um, it's no what was that movie? The Saints, something Saints, that horrible movie, that Spider Man. No, not Spider Man. The Boondock Saints. Mm-hmm. That's not a Marvel movie. No, isn't it Boondock Saints? That yeah, that's a, that's the name I didn't of the say movie. It was a Marvel a... movie. I said horrible. Oh, Sorry, said... horrible movie. Oh, I thought you said Marvel movie. No, it's like a cult. Cause cult. Yes, I, I am familiar with the. It's films. horrible. It's just it's. It's got young Indiana Jones in it. It's oh, is is he in it? Oh, mm-hmm. Norman Reedus is in it. Yes, young Norman Reedus. Yeah, everybody's young because it's a, it's a movie from nineteen. <laughs> it's an old movie, I know, but it's not good. Anyway. I think we're we're off the. Uh... I agree with all those other things. Oh, I did leave Actually, Shipwreck by himself to go home early, to so I could go home early. But it was only I left at midnight or nine p.m. and he Shipwreck left the next morning. Ty had no school the next day or school only at a certain time. So this way I was home at nine thirty or something like that. I don't think Shipwreck missed me much. I offended for myself. Yeah. Break breaking news in my house. What happened? Uh, my daughter just tried to cut her own hair. Crisis, crisis in the Waltham house. It's almost ten o'clock. I know. I go to bed. She should be asleep. Wait I mean, the there's morning no school to tomorrow. Tell it. But Shouldn't she yeah, be watching the dog so it's not pissing everywhere? I don't know. So this is fun. Or time. sleep. But or anyway, sleeping. Back to the show. And or sleeping. More, more, more news as it presents itself. <laughs> okay. Um. No, I like that E3 plan. I, I, I would. You know, I would have liked to see the 4DX movie. I, I didn't realize that I would have to leave for the airport at 9 p.m. to catch a 12.30 a.m. flight. That's crazy. But it, it was fucking true. I mean, there was so much traffic. I saw people running, running out of their taxis in the, on the highway. So, so what time New York do you get up? Did I get? Did you get nine, in? Like 9.30. In the morning? Yeah, it was great. And you slept the whole yeah. flight, I would yeah, assume? yeah. It's not bad. It was great. Yeah, I would do that again. It was the cheapest way to do it. Like I saved, I saved money by not getting the hotel, and the flight was cheaper. So, win-win. I just missed out on that 40x movie with Ship. That's the only. Regret. And they don't probably don't give you any food when you're on the plane. They do, at that. Well, they 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 do, but I don't want. They do in your seats. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. In my uh-huh. my super seats. Uh huh. So, but I didn't take the food because I was leaving. No food. Where? Would you have, like, if they were, would you have been able to resist the free food? Where? I mean, if you were in sleeping. If, would you rather I sleep sleeping. or get wake up and have the food? If, I would probably just sleep. The food sounded it, really I good, though. I saw the, the list. What, what was the, other than what was the food? It's something with lobster on it. I saw lobster. Oh, oh there's yeah. no way Wombat's sleeping. Yeah. The, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sleeping I, through it lobster. Was like a, it could have been like a lobster roll. Like, it was, look, look. I was excited for a free hot dog at a Yankee. No, 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 no. no. It was something for lobster on an airplane. <laughs> it was, you know, it was JetBlue has this mint cloud. There's a fucking spider, right? God, fucker. I don't want spiders. I to, hold on. I have to. Okay. It's gone. I think. So now, we, now he's probably on me. Fuck. Anyway, JetBlue has this mint thing. It's like their business class. And I just use, I usually fly that to go to E3 and I seldom have to actually pay for it because. I can use like credit card points or JetBlue points or something. So anyway, I looked at the menu. It was like 1230 or something or, or later. So I don't really exactly remember what it was. And I knew I was sleeping. But I did remember that I saw lobster and that it looked good. And then I said, what the fuck am I thinking? I need to be sleeping now. That you could have. Eat slept. No, no, that's a no. Thing. it's hard enough for me to sleep eating. That's a thing, isn't it? It's hard enough for me to <laughs> sleep. I, I need, I can't be disturbed. I have to, I have to wear like the eye patch and the ear blockers, ear plugs. Gotcha. I have to be all tommied up. I don't need the thing in my mouth. But the other two things. Well, I'm looking. My daughter just walked in the room. <laughs> Looks good. You know, it doesn't look terrible. She gave herself bangs. Right. Go to bed. Uh, yeah, we all agree that you should be in bed. Go to bed. Right. Stop playing with your head and go to bed. Yes. Or tomorrow you'll be full of dread. 
<sighs> right? Yeah, something. Something, something, girls. Something I don't understand. Right. By the way, save save your complaints. <laughs> save your complaints about me taking the business class. I'm very large. If anyone should be taking business class, it should be me. I don't think anyone's going to complain. Me and Shaquille O'Neal. He has his own. It's just next year when we go together, I expect to be sitting next to you. No, there's no seat next to me. It's just one <laughs> seat in that mint class. In business class. In the mint class. Yeah. Okay, then I'll sit behind you. That's probably not going to happen. Way behind. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I should have said in front. Damn it, in front. No, in front of you, in front of you. <laughs> there's a bathroom in front that might be available. Eh, I can think of worse places to sit than the first No, it's bathroom. the same as the other bathroom. That's what you said. That's what you tell me. I still have to sit down to pee because I can't fit in there. (laughs) I discovered recently, like, why the fuck am I standing in this bathroom to pee? Like, it's not, you know, some is getting in the toilet, but I could be doing a lot better. (laughs) Sit down, you moron. You're fucking, you don't even fit in here. Like, my head is completely like, imagine a question mark. And that's me peeing in an airplane bathroom. All right. Are we at, well, I think we're at Watch This Bitches. Yes, I think we are. All right. We talked about Aquaman again. Uh-huh. Have, Every you guys, week. have you guys seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Batman animated feature film? I have not. It's just been released. I know. Is it good? It's not on the DC Universe app that I was told was uh, going to get all of these types of movies. I know. That's a little bit of a bust, that app. But what have you seen? <laughs> the movie was very good, I thought. Um There are a lot of jokes in there for adults that only old people like me would get, like, you know, Pink Floyd references and like random shit like that. I, I, you know, references to the arcade game. Uh, It was, I thought it was, it was a really nice uh, mix of kid friendly and adult friendly content. My only complaint was Batman was a little, I mean, he was a little too Batman. Like he was a little too stiff in the beginning. Like. His first, like, response of seeing the turtles was like, I'm going to fucking fight these guys. Um, but he didn't say that, obviously. But it's, you know, I think it's I'm pretty sure it's PG-13. But I would totally recommend it. We rented it. Ty, Ty and I got our $4 worth or whatever it was. Cool. So, yeah, you should watch that one. I'm sure I'll see it eventually. And uh, season three of Legion started this week and we watched the first episode and it's pretty crazy i know have you you only watched like one or two episodes you never uh yeah I, back to it. I we enjoy i think i watched most of the first season maybe all of the first season but not season two. it's i think if you like doom patrol this is pretty similar uh to that and that it's really like irreverent and even more trippy than doom patrol so yeah, isn't Professor X in this season or is he not shown up? He yet? has not shown up yet because only one episode has has aired. So he wasn't in the first. Episode. He was not. But it's very weird. And it's one of those shows where you're not quite sure if you know what's going on or not. And you may have to check read stuff afterwards. You know, like Doom Patrol sometimes. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, Legion is I mean, I, I paid the fucking what is it? Six bucks a month or something for FX plus. So I wouldn't have to watch ads for these FX shows. Um, I like to support Legion too. You know, you could, you have cable. But I still have to watch all the commercials and stuff. No, you could record it and then watch it the next day and just fast forward through the commercials. I'd rather pay six bucks a month and hook up that cable box. What do you think of that? You're a weird, you are a weird person. <laughs> it's going to drive you nuts that I like that I think it that It makes way. zero sense. Then again, I'm a, I've am i also started rewatching Parks and Recreation from the beginning right. on the train because I don't know what else to watch anymore and I don't have to think about what I'm watching. You should learn Chinese. Why? Because there's a billion Chinese people out there and maybe you should communicate with them. All right. Ni hao. Do you like Chinese food? I do. Think about the service you would get if you could learn just a little bit of Chinese. I could pronounce General Cho's chicken uh, properly. Uh, and how to say uh, shrimp roll. <laughs> Not really. <No. laughs> Hatsu, maybe? Mm-hmm. 
I tell Ty to pay attention when the waitress tells us how to say it. It's his job. I'm past <laughs> learning things. I don't want to learn anything. I just want the shrimp rolls. You want to eat at a Chinese restaurant where you may not get the food you want if you don't know how to say it in Chinese. That's how you know okay, you're so in the right spot. What and where, when are we going and where are you taking? Northern it? Manor in Little Neck for the okay. dim sum well, think, dim sum carts. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there's no buttered noodles there, though. Yeah. Mm. Well, then you may have to bring your own buttered noodles. B y o b n. Now, this okay. Does B y o b stand for bring your own beer or bring your own booze? It doesn't stand for either. It stands for bring your own bottle. Shipwreck. Can we get a consensus on this? I th- I think usually it's beer. Beer, that's what I said to Mrs. Chibi, but I'm not, I wouldn't dare. Yeah. In a restaurant, if a restaurant is BYOB, it's usually bring your own bottle because they don't have their own bottle Ship, service. Uh, yeah. And they may charge a, an uncorking fee. Yep. Which also would refer to a bottle. According to Wikipedia, it says it stands for bring your own bottle or bring your own booze. It also stands for bring your own beer or bring According your own beer. According to Urban Dictionary, it means bring your own beer. But Urban Dictionary is also probably says yeah, that, bring your own that, bitch, bring your own. Yeah, that right. that's that's Urban Dictionary. So. Well, yeah, uh, it's how about how about we all just agree that it's all of them? Right. It's B can stand for a lot of things. Okay. It could stand for bring your own beeswax. <laughs> okay. Bzzz. You know what we should do? Mm-hmm. What we should do an ad for Mac Weldon right now. I, I love Mac Weldon. I'm wearing Mac Weldon underwear right now. You are. I am. You know why? Because I wear Mack Weldon underwear every day. Do you really? Are you that balling right now? I thought I was balling flying jet blue mint, but I, I only have two pairs of Mack Weldon. I will only wear Mack Weldon underwear, and I like it, and my wife likes it too. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh-uh. uh Well, in case you didn't know, Mack Weldon is a premium men's essentials brand that believes in smart design and premium fabrics. Their mission is simple. To make sure all your basics and beyond are smartly designed and shopping for them is easy and convenient. You know, it's very easy for me to do this commercial because all I have to do is tell you this true story about the Mack Weldon Ace Sweatpants, where they okay. they were kind enough to send us pairs of these pants to try out and so we could talk about them in these commercials. And I love the sweatpants so much and I was wearing them every day that I ha- I went and I created an account so that I could get another pair and I used coupon code CADCAST to get 20% off. And I got another pair in a different color. I first had black and I went, went for the green ones next. And then I was like, all right, now it's getting warmer out. The black ones are great, but it's not great when it's really sunny out. And maybe I want to you know bring these to E3 in LA. I think I need another pair and I emailed them to see like, hey, do you have any like, you know, program for, you know, the people who do your ads to get like, you know, get the hookup, you know? And they said no. So (laughs) they said no. They said no. And then I was about to order another pair. I was going to order the gray ones because I know I shit you not. I wear those those uh, a sweatpants. Every day. Every day. Now that it's 90 degrees, okay, maybe not. But (laughs) from 30 degrees to 90 degrees. So uh, they said, no, we don't have any program like that. And then I was went to order them. And then I got another email saying, hey, wait, we think we have something. And then I stopped. And then I never heard anything again. So I still have only my two pair of (laughs) of Ace sweatpants. (laughs) But that's I got excited for a second. I thought something was going to happen. And then E3 happened. And I still brought those. I still brought. Uh, yeah, you wore them. I saw them. Yeah, I wore two. I brought the good the black ones too. I'm not sure, but I yeah, those are awesome pants. They're just really comfortable. They're they're good in different temperatures. And my p- perhaps best of all, the, perhaps the best thing I could say about the Ace sweatpants is that your cell phone doesn't slide out of your pocket when you wear them. That is a huge problem that I have with almost every pair of pants that I own. And I just the way that the 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 elastic the elastic in them I don't know what it, it holds on to that phone. So what you guys got to do is get twenty percent off your first order at macweldon.com. You enter promo code CADCAST at checkout. 
It's 20% off your first order. MacWeldon.com, entering promo code CADCAST at checkout. You're going to love them. All right, Wombat, you know what else you're going to love? What? New releases. Let's do it. We've been busy. We've been playing games and... Played so many of these games. Wearing pants. you, You guys have been playing games. Yep. Sorry, Charlie. I got nothing. You got pants. Mm. Should we talk about my friend Pedro to begin with? I, if we you both want. been playing that cheap. Well, you talk about something first. I got to rest because I just did that Mac. You got to rest. Yeah, okay. I'm very excited. I got very excited about those sweatpants. I'm sweating now. I, I'm so excited. <clears throat> so I talked about Judgment last week, but that's out now. I've played a little bit more of that. I still think it's it's top quality. That's a good game. Excellent. Um, I also was completely unasked sent a code for <laughs> Samurai Showdown. Okay. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know you were sent the code for that. Nice. Yes. Uh, what, you thought he was sent to like an actual samurai or something? <laughs> no, I thought he bought it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> no, it just came completely out of the blue. I don't, I don't, somehow. Is this a uh, remake? What is this? This is a, no, it's a, it's a brand new game in the series, but it's kind of like a reimagining of the first game. I didn't... But it's, it's not a remake. It's not a remaster. It's a. It's a new Samurai Showdown game. I did not know about this. Um, but it has like all the characters from the first game. It has more and it's got DLC coming, which actually for the first week you can you can get the first uh, season. I guess it's the first year DLC characters for free. So if you ever want to buy this game, you should go do that now. Um, because you don't have to have the game to ba- to get that deal. Got it. Wait, well, what do you have Just to do? Just download the shit now is what he's saying. Down, down, go on do and the download the, the Just season do a shipwreck. pass. Do a shipwreck. Oh, if you go and download the season pass, now you don't have to buy it. And, okay, right. correct. Got do it. a shipwreck yeah, So it's a $20, download... $20 value for free if you download it this week. Right. Got um, it. I'm watching video of this game to see if it looks as bad as I think it looks. As bad as you think it looks? Yeah. Interesting. Um, I... I have been enjoying my time with it so far. It's very like formulaic as far as like the game structure. It certainly doesn't have like the depth of like unlocking stuff and everything like a Mortal Kombat does. Right. It's, it's very much your standard um, fighting game going through and fighting against all the other characters in a story mode and get to the end. And then you play the next character. What are they charging for this? Uh, I think it's a $60 game. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I don't have that big of a issue with the price. It's just, I mean, like it's just fun. like you mentioned, I'm sure it's fun. And, you know, who doesn't love Samurai Showdown? But we're in the world of like $60 gets you a lot for a fighting game from the West. Japan is still trying to like feed you these watered down, you know, retro style games for $60. 60 bucks. The mechanics are good. They're fun. Yeah. I it's it's a fighting game where I can get completely through the tutorial, which is not a lot of fighting games. It's not you saying are you saying it's less complicated than other fighting games, or you're just I'm this saying is more that your the, type of game. The there was only a couple things in the tutorial that took me multiple times to get through. There's a lot going on, like mechanics wise, because you can like do the whole like sword clash thing and and knock people's swords away and. There's different fighting styles, and you have the super moves and everything. So this, this woman's breasts are, yeah, she's weird, right? It's like, what is she wearing? A headband around her tits, like one around. Isn't that what, isn't that what you're supposed to? I wear? think she's got literally got two headbands, you know, around her neck and going around her shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know, one going each way, making an X, and that's what she's wearing. Actually, yeah. like. I like, you know, I think it's just, laundry day. I think the game looks okay. What I don't think, I think I don't like some of the character designs. Like I like this, uh, I like this Japanese dude with the sword, but I don't like this, this guy with the blue outfit who looks like Galford. I don't like this Galford guy. A lot of these guys were in the original. Yeah, I don't like him. He's got a little dog though. That's, that's nice. <laughs> He's got a little doggy. I like the dog. Yeah. I, I've been playing as the, uh, what is her name? Nokoruka or something like that? I don't know. She's 60 the, bucks though. Come Nakaruru. On. That's her name. Nakaruru? Yeah. She's she's the one that has the hawk. You can send the hawk yeah, down at people. That's good. Slice people in half. 60 completely. bucks though. Come on, man. 60 bucks. Yeah. Ah, sure. I, come it'll on. It's just come like, down and 
Come down in price. It's a bit, it's a bit much. It's like, what world are we living in where like you can you, you put like Mortal Kombat in one hand and Samurai Shodan in the other hand, and these are not equal things. It's got an 82 so far on Metacritic. Yeah, but you know, that's all fake, fake news. <laughs> it's a good, it's a, it's a fun fighting game. It doesn't have all the the bells and whistles, but it is a it's a fun fighting game. The, the people who review that game are the people who like know who Galford is. Uh-huh. You understand what I'm saying? So they're not I do. they're not weighing into consideration like this game costs sixty dollars. What else is out there you in can't, the market? Are you telling me you can't name you can't name any Samurai Showdown characters? Do you know, I I, mean, I wasn't a huge Samurai Showdown guy, but mm, I, I played, played it. so much of it. Oh, did you in college? Okay, yeah, yeah. It was a little. Uh, I was out of you know. It was a, the time wasn't the timing wasn't right for me to be into Samurai Showdown, but I I yeah. played it a few times. But no, I I just know some of the characters by what they look like, mm-hmm. like Galford. Sounds about right. <laughs> yep, you know Hanzo. Sure. Japanese guy, guy kinda... with the sword. What? Japanese guy with the sword. Uh, the ninja looking one. Yeah. He's got the big like shoulder pads, but he's right. either black or blue usually. Right. All right. So that's out. Samurai Showdown's out. Mm-hmm. Good job. Go get that DLC. <laughs> get that. Yeah, I need to do that. Um. So I talked a little bit about Rolling Gunner last week too. Right. On the Switch. Not Rolling Thunder. Right. I have to. I have to like pause every time I say the name. Yeah. Um. It's really good. It's it's a shmup. I I'd only played like a level of it last time we recorded. Mm-hmm. It it is a high quality shmup. I'm looking at a video now, so I can experience. It's going to fall in the same category as as uh, people who like Samurai Showdown. Like the only people I'm sure that are reviewing this are shmup fans. This one wasn't sixty dollars though. I bet. No, this is a twenty dollar game. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. They know what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks like a bullet hell game that I can't. Mm-hmm. That's giving me a seizure. Yep, that's what you're looking for, right? No. Nope. Okay. This looks like it hurts. <laughs> it's just like everything hurts. Like my hand hurts, my eyes hurt, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> everything hurts. The people like coming into oh, the room, please. bothering I'm me. I'm sure it's fun. I like those guys. It looks it cool fun, though. It does look cool. We did. Dis- we discussed yeah. that last week. I saw. Yeah. I just saw a big mech with like a million rockets come out of it. So that you know, everybody likes that. Yeah, no, it, it it is like a lot of these games come out, and especially on Switch, and it's like uh, it's probably like a really crappy, like I don't know, quickly put together game. But this one, this is this is substantial. This game, good, good. Yep. Uh, uh, I played a game that came out this week. Yes. What did you play? It's called. Not only did I play it, I finished it. It's called. Oh, wow. It's called. Yeah, I liked it. It's called my my friend Pedro. Yes. And it's out this week on PC and, and Switch. Switch. And that's it. I've been I've been playing the Switch version. Oh, okay. Um how do you like it so far? I'm almost done with like the second level. Okay. I think. Like the second world, not the second level, the so to, chapter, whatever you want to say. I I would describe this game to somebody who hasn't played it for as sort of a a side scrolling Max Payne. But there's platforming and light, very light puzzle solving, but it's mostly shooting people in the face in slow motion. Mm-hmm. Um, and unlike other games that you've played that feature, you know, bullet time effects, I guess is what, what we're calling it. I don't know what we're calling it now. That's who we were calling it when there were a lot of it, a lot of this mechanic uh, used in games. But unlike those, in this one, you have a lot of it. Yeah, it's hard to run out. It's hard to run out because it's at least on normal, it might switch if you play it on the harder. Probably, games. probably. But I'm not. I'm. I'm definitely. This is a, a game that I'm playing on normal if I want to get anywhere. Um, yes, as as you're killing dudes, uh, you're filling up your your time meter. So the idea you're, is you're always killing dudes, and you're always killing dudes. And the idea is you are stringing together these kills to get maximum score and to get through the level quickly and you're getting you get assigned a grade at the Mm -hmm. end of the level and there's boss fights and things change up in you pick up different types of weapons it's not like a metroidvania type of game where 
you're exploring some map or anything like that. You're just going through different levels and there's You're running right for the most part. Yeah, you're running right and shooting stuff in slow motion. And how long did it take you to get through the game? I'm going to say, well, I will look right now. It took me six hours. Okay. Um it's twenty dollars. Twenty game. bucks for twenty bucks for six hours. I don't know. It's really fun. It's I believe you, but I don't know. I was on I was uh you know, it was on sale on Steam. I think I paid sixteen. Um, I, it's the type of game that you could go back and play again. Definitely. Definitely. Because, in fact, it's the type of game that I was so blown away by the first level. Because I, it's no secret. I like shooting things in slow motion. Right. It's like and a, you, you probably – I know I really sucked at the first level. Right. Because the controls are take a little bit to get used to. Yeah. It plays like, um, like a shadow complex, but it's a lot more shooting. It's all shooting, really. Probably similar to like uh, Counter Spy. Did you guys play that? It's like that Enter the all? Matrix. Counter Spy? No, mm-hmm. I don't know that I played that one. It's a very good game. Um, but there's like a dodge mechanic, and you know you're, you're not getting hit when you're dodging, and I don't know. Just the animation is really cool. I just the game has a lot of style, and the, it's got a very strong electronic dance music soundtrack. Uh, you know, like indie stuff. But very, it fits the action perfectly. It really feels like you're playing a John Wick. Uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like I, I'm surprised. Like I will be surprised if they don't make a John Wick variant of this at some point. That would be a fucking fantastic idea. I think the if what if there's anything that hurts this game, I don't think the fact that it's only six hours because I mean, uh, yeah, six hours. Because I think that's a fair twenty bucks for six hours. I think that's that's totally reasonable. Um, the problem, I think, the problem. If there is a problem, they went with this like whole banana thing. I don't know if you've seen. I, I does that explain that at any point? Yes. Okay. I, good. I don't. My my thought is like I. I'm just you know I'm just spitballing here, but I don't know that that helps the game. You know, sell any more copies. That the fact that you have this like banana themed character in in the game. Uh, that's Pedro. I don't want to say I don't want to spoil anything because there's mm-hmm. a, there is a story and good. Um, it's it's fun. I I just really recommend. It's one of those games. You know, once in a while you'll find a game that you know you're going to finish it as soon as Allows you start playing you it. To shoot guys in slow motion on a skateboard. <laughs> yes, that is so fucking fun and like swinging from stuff. It's just really it's yeah. it's really fun. I knew like when after I played the first level and I did poorly, I just kept playing that first level over and over again to try to make it look more stylish and feel like I was really understood what was happening. I knew I it's was kind of cool. Like it. at the end of the level too, like it shows you, it picks out what you're like your best combo or stylish move was like, it shows you a little like gif of it or something. Yeah. And it lets you tweet it out. It doesn't do, I don't think it does the best job of picking out your best one. I w- it would be cool if it, you could go scrub through it and do you make your own. But I was surprised that more games don't have that. Like how come overwatch doesn't have that? How come I don't can't just make a gif of the, the play of the day. If I get the play of the game, rather, it's just I don't know this little game made by I don't know how many people. What's what's Overwatch? <laughs> I, I don't know how many people made this game, but I'm thinking it's a lot less than people working on Overwatch. Uh, anyway, my friend Pedro, highly recommended. Is it better than Monster Jam Steel Titans? I couldn't tell you. Shepard? Yes, I got a I got a code for that as well. You got a code for everything. I did, shared, and shared nothing. What What would you have liked me to share? With, with the I don't know anything. You can't play <laughs> six games at once, and I got nothing. You can I can? I guess I so. <laughs> Monster Jam, Steel Titans. <sighs> I bet your son likes the Monster Jam. He does. Jam that's game, that's so the I, reason. I, I can't I can't fault you for that one because I, I I know that feeling. Right. I still have like I stayed up fairly late last night because I've got to unlock Grave Digger, like the trucks that you get, which is. Of course, you don't get the good trucks at the beginning of the game. Like, is there the one that looks like a dog in it? Three of those, yes. yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Are there are there three trucks that look like dogs? Yes. <laughs> there's more than well, in Monster Jam, there's like real Monster Jam, real world Monster Jam. There's far more than just three that look like dogs. I believe you. There's a Scooby Doo truck. Well, well that I know. The Scooby Doo truck is not in the game. No, I'm sure the Spider-Man one is not. Spider-Man is not in the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, uh, what is it? I don't know if it's great clips. What of the sports clips, maybe? They they made it in the game. There's one that's. The haircut place? 
Yeah, yeah. They have like a mohawk one. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's I I mean it's a budget racing game, but it's it's fun enough. You get to, <laughs> Put that on the back of the box. I, that's what you're looking for, though. Fun right? Enough. You're looking for a monster jam like. $40. I don't know. I feel like it should be like Descenders, but with monster trucks. That's a good idea. It is, but it at the same hide. time, it's probably not a not a budget game then. <laughs> Descenders is a budget game. Yeah, it's an indie game. It's an indie game. They should, hi- yeah, they should hire saying. the Descenders people to make a monster truck. I know. I'm game. like, Descenders is, is, is a $20 game. I'm bad at that. There's no reason why they couldn't do that with monster trucks. Well, that monster jam license... Yes. Right. They should work together, is what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Bad ship consultants. Come on. Mm -hmm. It's my son likes watching it, so I'm I'm happy with it. I'm sure that's why this game exists. Mm -hmm. That is why that game exists. Yes. Excellent. I would have taken Rolling Gunner, is probably what I would have taken. (laughs) (laughs) For the record. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'll make sure you know what Wombat would take. Right, I'll, yep, I'll make future, sure future to reference. somehow somehow know what the game is and its quality without playing it before I <laughs> before I could decide you whether, could you next time Wombat like hey I did it. that with Days Gone. He's letting you know he's letting you know what type of things he likes. So in the future uh-huh. you can make an informed decision. Right, or you could have like yeah never mind. I lost my blow me. Thought. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you could just blow me and call it a day. Why don't you we'll just call it even. shut up and blow me? You know who said that? You. Mel Gibson. Wow. Oh. In real life, right? In real life. Yeah. Yeah. That was not, that. As, not in character. They when in those, character as Mel Gibson. No, yeah, yeah. When they those tapes came out, Howard Stern played them every day. Just mm-hmm. over and over and over again. He just could not get enough. And uh now I have them memorized. Good. Great. What's next, Sugar Tits? <laughs> There's a bunch of games that came out that we didn't play. Crash Team Racing, is that any... I think that's probably good, right? It looked like it was pretty good, and we sat in the, the cart at E3, and that seemed pretty sturdy. <laughs> it did. Not sure the wheels Well, if moved, that's though. not a sign of the ga- how the game is, then you, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's pretty accurate, usually. There was no... We didn't have to wait in line, though. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's. I'm checking the reviews, and the reviews say 84%. That's really good. Yeah. Metacritic, 84. Good job, Crash. Did it. I haven't heard of any of these fucking publications, I gotta say. Push Square? Hmm. Anyway, all right. I like cart racing, yep. but um, that one's gonna have to like just wind up in my inbox. Um, not... I think it's already down. I think I've seen it as low as like $28 already. So. All right, we're getting there. Yep. 20 bucks could be good for me. I would uh, I'd go for that. Yes. Uh, what else we got? Deer Drive Legends came out for Switch. Deer Drive? Yeah, that's the Lung Shot game. <laughs> nice. Lung Shot. Yes. Nice. I could they get I'm available by the way. If you need a guy to yell Lung if Shot. If they ever need to make a Deer Drive 2. Yeah, I can do Lung Shot. Like that's I'm all about that. Uh, oh, I did make a one fake Switch game. Can you figure out what it is? Oh my god. Oh, you did? Yeah, there's one. Really? I don't know why I did. I just was sitting here okay um, one. i don't even remember what it was oh yeah i do i got it good there's not that many releases this week so i think that's why i did it yeah there's only 20 games that came out for a switch this yeah, week i can yeah, see i can yeah. see why yeah and some of them you've heard of before so is it mainlining hold on hold on one Sorry. at a time first the yeah. wombat oil stain <laughs> yes <Okay. laughs> yeah. Yeah. good job yeah. there's an oil stain in my driveway so is that why? I spilled some oil. <laughs> uh, anything else in new releases? No, that's there's a lot. What about Kamiko? Is that like uh, Kimono? Mm. You heard about Kim Kardashian? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Trademark. She made up a word called Kimono. <laughs> She's trying to trademark Kimono for use on kimonos. Hmm. That seems shady. I don't think Has I have a problem. Done it? I don't think I have a problem with anything else, like you know the whole underwear thing. But like kimonos, like you didn't invent the kimonos or the word isn't it kimono. Isn't it pronounced kimono? Kimono. Come on. Why would it be kimono if it's K I M O N O? Isn't it pronounced? I always prefer to pronounce kimono. Anytime you see K I, it's key. 
I don't know. Under Come any circumstance. Not key would be K E. No, that would be K. Anytime you see K E, it's, it's K. I've always heard to pronounce kimono. Well, you live in Long Island. Yeah. You hear a lot of shit. In this country. <laughs> you hear hot dog. In this country, it's pronounced kimono. Well, that's fucked up. I don't care. Move. In this country, <laughs> uh, Kim Kardashian is just, uh, apparently decides what it's called mm-hmm. and owns it because she said so because her name is Kim mm-hmm. and it's in the name kimono. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's her. Okay, I'm, I'm on oh, board yeah. now. Oh, you just figured it out? I'm on board. I hadn't really given it any thought at all. Yeah, so. should, yeah. anything with a three, three letters Kim in it, she should really be able to trademark, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I Trademarks, it's not hard to get a trademark. She, she's coming out with a new dish detergent. It's called Kim Stain. <laughs> nice one. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right, should we move on to news multi-platforming and Wombat's awesome Apex Assault? Sure. At Colonel Rangoon writes in and asks, what changes would you like to see in the Apex Legends Battle Pass for Season 2 on July 2nd? Make it fun. Yeah, I, yeah. Give us stuff to do that's not just leveling up. I think they started to do that towards the end. They started to figure out, like, hey, we should think of stuff <laughs> for people to do. Um, Because leveling up serves no purpose. Right. If you're unlocking little like stat things that are going to appear on your card, that's not a good reward. That's lame. That's boring. Give us like fun skins. And quite frankly, I paid, I don't know, I paid like a lot for that last season pass. I feel like I fucking blew all that money. You should let people who bought the the premium pass like me get the season two for free to to build up some goodwill because that thing sucked. That was a waste of fucking money. So, I want some. I want my comeuppance. No, that's not what I want. What do I want, Chip? Uh, I, I a refund. Lost me. I want a refund. You lost me. <laughs> we, we're talking about Apex Legends. I was not expecting to get it thrown to me, dude. You got to get on board. <laughs> it's still here, you know. <laughs> EA needs something. Have you heard about it? Anthem? You know these executives aren't getting their bonuses. We got to start yes. playing Apex Legends, everybody. Are these guys, how are they going to buy a Lamborghini? Make good games. Right. Surprise mechanics. <laughs> surprise, me- more surprise mechanics. Uh, so for those who don't know, and Reclusive Racer brings us up, uh, he says, is surprise mechanics an apt idiom to use for the monetary system used in some video games? Are surprise mechanics a First Amendment right? Is scientific evidence, when demonstrated as such, available to disagreement without evidence alongside <laughs> the disagreement? Right. I think, I, I mean, they make, the, the one point that I have a hard time refuting is that, you know, you sell, you see these like machines in the store, right? They Those like capsule machines. Mm-hmm. That's a similar concept to to a loot box in a video game. You're getting something that, you know, either way, it doesn't really have like a lot of real world value. Anything that you pull out of a capsule machine. Well, you know what? That's not true, though. Because they they have whole, there's a physical item. There's a physical and I think item. The, there's a, I think that's the main difference. There's actually a physical item, and you can actually take that physical item to in Japan, where capsule machines are like a real fucking thing. You can take some of those items are more rare than others, and you can go to their special store set up, and you can sell those for for money. Yeah. And you could sell them back. You could trade them with yep. friends. If you're missing you can, part to a collection, if you're a big nerd and happen to be buying, let's say. RoboCop capsules, and maybe you're mm-hmm. missing a certain one because it's rarer, and you're not going to buy seventy boxes to try to get it. You just go to the store and you know pay ten bucks or something. So yeah, no, it's not the same thing. And EA could uh, you know go suck a goat. I think it's hard to refute the fact that it is at least in your brain. There's some gambling urges being satisfied by (laughs) by spending money getting a random chance at something that has a perceived value even if it's something that you can't resell in the real world it in your mind there are definitely things that are more valuable than others more desirable 
Um, so there's definitely some psychological influence going on that definitely will lead to people spending more money than otherwise. And that, that's the yep. stuff they don't address in those, those hearings. Um, did you read the latest uh, Jason Schreier article? I saw some notes on it. So there was so this is what I gathered. So there was a pizza party. Yes. And where? the QA team was invited to said pizza where, party. Where, where, where? At Activision. Uh-huh. Sorry, at Activision. The 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 Call of Duty Black Ops 4 team right. was the QA team was invited to a company pizza party. <clears throat> and when they got to the said pizza party, they were told they only had 20 minutes. And they couldn't eat anything, and they couldn't drink anything, and then they had to go back to work. That's just an example of how they're how the the contract employees who work on QA as QA and, and probably most of these big publishers um, and developers um, they're all contract employees, and in, in that that's an example of how they're treated as second class workers, not real like not as employees of the company, which they're not. Um, but there's just a real separation. It's just an, an example. The, if you keep reading, you'll learn how <laughs> the air conditioning in the building turned off at a certain time. And that's that's awful. And then they would say, <laughs> like, hey, you know, we have all these computers in here and we're like, you know, it's like 90 degrees in here because we're in California. And also, like, we have all these fucking computers running video games all night. Can we get some air conditioning? And they're like, oh, it's broken. I'm like, but, but it works during the day. No, no, it's broken. So it's stuff like that. Um, and they, you know, they, they're not getting paid a lot of money. And they see, like, the games, obviously the games are v- very fucking successful. And they see the very public news that the executives of the companies are making, of this company are making, you know, like $30 million a year. And these guys can't even park on site. They got to park, like, half a mile away. Uh, in just a separate parking lot. And they say even like the, the workers there, like they walked, not only are they walking from this far parking lot, but when they get to the parking lot, it's all Jaguars and Teslas. And they drove there in their fucking shit ass car and can't even park in the, the company parking lot. So it's it's really just, those are all examples of this sort of second class culture that you you have if you're working QA in the game industry. Um, so it's good. I think it's good that the light gets shined on this stuff and, um, it's only, it only could help with, with the situation. And I think that, uh, we're lucky to have Jason write articles like this and get in contact. And we're lucky that, that the people working there feel comfortable enough to talk to him, to people like him and and to him specifically and to, to, you know, get the story out there. We'll see if it makes any difference. The problem is that it's even though it's a low play, low paying job, it's sort of there's some sort of like nerd glamour to it. Well, and I I don't even think the complaint all in was so much about how it's low paying as much as it is if you're gonna pay us nothing, treat us treat us like people. Yeah, yeah, that's that definitely part of it for sure. That's a big part of it. They f- you know, if if they were treated well, if they were. Given the pizzas and the beers and better parking sure. and air conditioning, yeah, cheap stuff, stuff that's not that you you know you could easily do, not a big sacrifice. Yeah, financially. then an article like this wouldn't exist. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're right. A very I think small it would still exist. It would just be slightly different. Yeah, right. There'd Thanks. be another way they're getting fucked. I'm sure. They're, they're, uh... The pro- it, the problem isn't, is this isn't totally unique to video games it's it's no it's unique contractors are not direct hire employees and so it's different i but i think in this case they know that they can just fill these jobs like pretty easily that's what a lot of contractors are yeah but especially i think for video games especially it's there's a there's an appeal there that's just not there for other contract jobs i also think that you know if you treat the employees well oh and again we're not saying they need to make tons of money just the bare minimum right you'll get a better game right yeah it's it's a little goes a long way it sounds cheesy yeah but yeah for sure pizza hook them up with the pizza anyway it's a good article should uh check out jason's book too blood sweat and pixels very good okay 
Um, but, but where are we? Oh, now there's. <laughs> let's get into some politics, Wombat. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Uh, it's not really politics, but Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony are joining forces to fight uh, Trump's tariffs on China because, as you probably know, our beloved video game consoles are being built in China. And apparently, it looks like the costs could go up about 25%. And those, as tariffs work, those are passed on to us, the, the customer. And obviously... The, the platform holders want to sell as many consoles as possible, and the high, the more money they cost, the less they will sell. So we've got a problem. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. What else to say we got besides that? Um, we'll find out how pow- powerful that video game lobby is, I guess. This is the combined forces, though, of the big three. All right, what else we got here? I've been playing some Borderlands 2. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> I I so they put out that new DLC. Mhm. How is that? I have not quite gotten to it yet. Oh, okay. Um I could play it, but we so we imported you can import your 360 characters into the Xbox One game. Mhm. Uh it's a little bit of a process, but it works. So by the time we did that, and we started playing, we just started playing odds and ends missions that we never finished up. And so we will get to the new DLC, but it, right now it's just nice to be back playing Borderlands 2. See, I told you. You told me what? That Borderlands 2 was still worth playing. Sure. You quit already, though. Good idea. Just get save it for Borderlands three. Don't blow your Borderlands load now during it's fine during it's Borderlands fine. two. That's that, I don't think Shipwreck can do that. No, have, we'll, we'll be fine. You we'll, have, pre- we'll have premature Borderlands too. ejaculation. No, it's very, we're fine. very bad. I'm just excited to check out the new Rage two content that just came uh-huh, out. Today. I'm sure. I'm sure you are. Right. <laughs> um, no, Borderlands two. Like our save file was from 2013. Nice. Yes, that's, that's old. I it that was before cool. we had kids. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's your third child. Your first right. child, actually. First, first. Uh I'm looking forward to Borderlands three. Yes, we know this. I, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Have you pre ordered yet? I have. Two copies. Nice. Xbox, of course. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, Xbox. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wombat's confirmed. Mm-hmm. Have you pre ordered Wombat? So we can, I have not. So we can play together? I don't think so. <laughs> oh i don't know why i said that but it's good i like that i like this attitude <laughs> yeah fuck off kiss attitude. my ass <laughs> mm. another thing showed up at my door today wombat should that have gotten shipped to you as well no that definitely should not have that is all you okay i got the new pound hd link cable for sega genesis this is a cable that Basically, just takes uh, Sega Genesis and makes it so it has an HDMI cable. Great, mm-hmm. sexy. Yes, thirty dollars. Good. Uh, I tried it out briefly. I, I plugged my CDX into it, um, and that that works. So that that was good that it works with the CDX. Fantastic. Um, it. I mean, it brought it right up. No issues. It's. Not going to compare to my main setup, like the RGB SCART cables to the Frame Meister and then um, out to HDMI that way. This one, it's, but you're paying $30, right? There's a, there's an entry price entry point there that is more palatable to most people, I would say. Yeah. That's how much um, people think a cable should cost. Right. So it, it works. Um, it looks, Okay, I would say there's some of the smoothing that they have on there. Um, it looks kind of smeary to me more than smoothing. Right, could be smoother. It could it could be smoother. It could be crisper. Um, it's taking it from a 240p resolution up to a 720p resolution. So there's still some more P's that could be had. Right, it doesn't have all the P's. Right. There's still room Not for cool. more peas. Room for more peas. Um, but for $30, if you're looking to like, 
be able to use your Sega Genesis um, on a modern TV, it it seems like an okay option from what I've tested so far. Fantastic. Wombat, mm-hmm. do you want to hear more about this cable? This Pound I'm HD. sorry, what, what day is it? Pound, pound HD Link Genesis Who did cable. that now? It, t- huh? it, looks, it tastes like pound cake. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Right. I knew it would, I could get your attention that way. Mm-hmm. No, Pound HD. <laughs> um, oh, let's go to the CAG bag. Okay. It's hot in my pants. We are skipping right there. It is so hot in here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's no fun at all. I'm comfortable. Yeah. I are, you guys, no, no. are you guys getting that contractor AC? What's going on? <laughs> no, I just, uh, it's not that hot. It's just, I, I'm excited. No, it's like a thousand degrees it's in not, here. It's only Actually, 77 I, in here. I bet if I had the air conditioner on, it wouldn't even make it to the microphone, but still. Right. It'd just be noisy. Yeah. I'm going for a studio quality sound, so I, I turn the air conditioning off. Mm, but it, that's off. But that's off it, it doesn't too. really matter because I can f- filter it out after with uh, noise reduction. So you shouldn't be too uncomfortable, is what I'm saying. Okay. I'm, I'm we'll, still we'll, pretty comfortable. We'll see how we'll, t- we'll discuss it for next week. By the way, how sweaty do you think my ass was after an hour, ha- an hour and a half of table tennis against like the top young women in the country? And then getting immediately getting pulled over by a police officer. Did you have to change your underwear when you got home? Well, I did because it was soaking wet. That that's that was exactly that's why I was asking. Yes, I, I was soaking wet. I mean, I my I before I left there, I changed my shirt because it was heavy with sweat, and I put on a, a fresh shirt, which was good because the cop would have thought, "What the fuck is wrong with this guy? He's sweating and he's inside an air conditioned car, and he looks he looks very bad." Um, but no. All right, let's move on to the CAG bag. Getting distracted here. Uh, at Purple's Nick Nick writes in and asks, do you think there will be a Gamers Club Unlocked replacement program later on, or do you think discounts like that are dead entirely? Dead entirely. I disagree. <gasps> I think they are just trying to figure I think it's a good program for them. They must know. It must have been successful. In getting people into the store and buying more shit. The problem was it was also successful in attracting people who are able to abuse it and resellers, resellers abusing the program. So I think if they can figure out a way to really lock it down without it, you know, being too much of a hassle and preventing people from signing up, it's probably worth them doing. But I don't know if that's possible. I don't know what you have to do to really lock it down. And I'm not being paid to think of something, so I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm available. I'm available to do the lung shot thing and to come up with a new Best Buy program. Call me. Somebody call me. All right. That's it. I think it's time to say goodnight. But first, let's remind everybody that Long Island Retro is the weekend of August 10th and 11th. And that our panel, our live CADcast, is on Sunday, the 11th, from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. And you should buy tickets at liretro.com and come see us because it's fun. It's getting bigger. There's a lot of uh, lot of panels this year. Every year it gets bigger and bigger. Uh, there's a, something on Saturday night as well, a retro and chill event that looks fun. And at K Saunders writes in and asks... Thinking about driving from Canton, Ohio to the LI Retro event and checking out the area for the weekend. Any tips on where to stay and what to do? Do you know where Canton, Ohio is, Ship? Is that near you? It's it's where the Football where Hall the football, of Fame is. Yeah. It's not, not very near me, no. Um, what you should do is go into Manhattan. So st- or go to Adventureland. No, fuck that. Don't do that. Or go to Jones Beach. Fuck that. New York City is the spot. That There's is... plenty to do on Long Island if you don't want to go into Manhattan. No, but we, I'm, let me give me. I'm giving some advice. If you can get a hotel that's like near Long Island Railroad and also near LA Retro, you can take the train into the city and see what's going on. Because come on, Wombat. I mean, Long Island's got a few things that are interesting, but you go to Jones Beach. I mean, it's a fucking beach. You've seen a beach before. In Canton, Ohio, he's never seen a beach. Well, he's probably been outside of Canton, Ohio. He's never seen. You don't Man- know. If you've never you seen, you don't know that. 
I've never Jones been to... Beach is one of the nicest beaches in the country. All right. All right. What do you fucking work for Jones Beach? I do. What do you get off? Get a commission? Jones Beach tour. <laughs> Getting com- get commission? I'm sending people to Jones Beach. Uh-huh. Look, Jones Beach is very nice. I agree. And I haven't been there in a long time. But there's too many Long Island people there. I recommend not going it's also, there. Or a Long Beach if you can find parking. But My parents went there with Ty uh, to yesterday. What, to Long Beach yeah. or Jones Beach? Long Beach. Yeah. Long Beach is nice. I like Long Beach a lot. Yeah. My parents live in Atlantic Beach, which is the beach I go to because it's my parents live there. I figured so. it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so we didn't answer your question at all. Um, <laughs> I don't really know the hotel. I know the Marriott. I think that I believe if there's you, a Marriott right by there that happens to be very nice. Is that the one by Nassau Coliseum? Uh huh. And I believe they have a deal with the show to get a discounted rate. Yeah. But um, is this a thing with kids now in your in in your? Because Ty's the same age as my daughter. Mm. Um, in her school. A thing that parents do now for birthdays, instead of having a slumber party at the house. Sounds like bullshit. Okay. They have a slumber party in a hotel room. That's fucking ridiculous. That way the girls can have their slumber party and stay up all night and do each other's hair, whatever they want to do. But the parents don't have to like clean up anything the next day. This is like white people's problems. Oh, I never said it was a problem. I just said it's a popular thing. I know. And that hotel, because it's close to my house, is a hotel that Sabrina's been to like three times. I mean, like, this is a solution to a white people problem. That's yeah, not I a problem. Understand. Problem not, in quotes. I, I didn't say it was a problem. How about, like, clean up? Like, what do you, I don't know. Like, you don't have to think about it. It you sounds like, about... with it, to me, it sounds like, is that the parents don't want to fucking be involved and they don't want to say no to the kid. So they're like, fuck it, let's put this kid in this box, and I'm going to be in this box. Well, there's, there's still a parent in the hotel. In the, great. I'm going to be in this box. <laughs> sure, there's lots of parents in a hotel. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and I'm going to shut myself off from what's going on in here and let them just do whatever, and then this way I don't have to be fucking bothered. And, all right. Isn't that every slumber party, though? I, I don't know. How many slumber parties did you go to as a kid where the where the kid's dad walked in? He goes, hey, how's everyone doing? You playing playing Nintendo games? That was my Can dad. I, I love that Super Mario. Can I play too? No, what my dad would do is we'd be watching like a movie or something. And he would come into the room and he would, oh, he would start adjusting like, the you know, the lights were on a dimmer. So he would start adjusting the dimmer he's like oh let me fix this for you like obviously i had it set where i wanted it because i i I know how a dimmer works and he would just stand there because he knew it would like make me nuts and he would just slowly do it and stand there until i would start screaming exactly so but the but it's just my but never in a million fucking years would my dad say hey i'm gonna go pay 150 dollars or 300 dollars if you're getting like two rooms i don't know or i don't know no, just be where one. do they just, stay just one room oh one, one room. room okay so the mom one. the parents are staying in the same room they're not, in the same room it's yeah. not like a connected how many people are in this room this seems like a fire hazard yeah they're not allowed uh, no it's not a lot it'd be like three girls or four girls oh. and and one. Oh, okay. I thought that they were like con- you know like joined rooms or something. No. All right. It's slightly better, but not really. It still seems dumb. Just how about okay. how about this idea? How about have the party at home and tell the girls to clean up after themselves? Is that that hard? It's not make you know that's that's doesn't seem too bad. I guess. I think Wombat is taking money from the hotel industry. He's taking money. And Jones Beach. Jones Beach, Adventureland. Mm-hmm. A lot These of, all, lot of very suspect true, things getting attention in this episode. True statements. <laughs> These are all true statements. Yes. All right. Well, mm-hmm. I think we've, we've answered a lot of questions today mm-hmm. that nobody asked. Mm-mm. Let's remind everybody to follow us on Twitter at GBD, at New Wombat, at Shipwreck, at Video Game Deals. Let's remind everybody that they can get 20% off their first order at MacWeldon.com after they enter promo code CADCAST at checkout. And we will see you at some point in the near future. Maybe next week, maybe not. Who could say? Bread's done. Long for a place where you truly belong. A place where boardwalks meet grains of sand in a salty air. And eastern swells call the light to which we are tied. Long for a place.
place to just be yourself. A place to be together. Shot. Yes.